Blessed and happy Friday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack. My dear Kababayans, today is February 23, 2024, and today is Friday within the first week of Lent. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 20 to 26. Our first reading for today, telling us that there are two kinds of person. First, the sinful, the wicked, but turn away from sin and change. And the first reading says, they surely leave. And the second type of person is a righteous person, but turn to sinfulness. And the first reading says, all their righteousness and righteous deeds will not be remembered. In short, an evil people who change ways, you know, and... Uh, become good will be saved but good people who ended up evil will die the challenge of our first reading for today is we need to be good that is stay good until the end be consistent with your goodness be consistent with your conversion from day first to the last day remain righteous stay righteous don't lose your goodness in you because others have lost theirs we need to say remain good from day first till the end and our gospel for today teaches us the ways of righteousness how to be righteous and the gospel suggests number one we need to control our tongue my dear friends be careful of your words especially when you're upset especially when you're angry insulting or calling people names calling people fool are not good gesture of righteousness be careful of your words because words can kill people that's why we are challenged to avoid gossip uh, bad mouthing like slander defamation and swearing these are not good practices think before you say something because words can kill someone if we are not mindful of what we are saying about people before you say something you know think how you would feel if someone said it to you but the friends my dear brothers and sisters our gospel also is reminding us loving god but hating people is not a righteous practice that's why the gospel says, if you are about to offer your gift at the altar and you remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar, go at once and make peace with your brother, then come back and offer your gift to God. In short, people are more important than gifts and the best gift we can give to others is to make peace, to reconcile with our enemies. Reconciliation and forgiveness are two important spiritual, spiritual exercises that we need to observe in this season of Lent. We are called to be loving and forgiving. Reconciliation should not be delayed. You know, reconcile right away. Be quick to forgive. Be quick to reconcile. In a world full of hate, in a world full of strife, hatred, Today's gospel is reminding us to be loving and forgiving. My dear friends, our offering has no value. Our offering is nothing if we keep hurting others. Choose to love rather than being angry. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, Season of Lent is asking us for conversion and conversion is from worst to best, from good to better. Be good, remain good, and stay good. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends, share it with your families, so that many will be blessed. Amen.